Hi guys, this video is all about layout techniques for functional scales. So as you can see here, I've got quite a boring text. Let's imagine I was trying to write a leaflet. So this is about a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu club. And as you can see, I've tried to have a little bit of a structure. I've got my usual paragraphs and stuff there. Um, and I've also included some of the layout techniques that we could possibly use to kind of break this up and make it look a little bit more interesting. Now, we've already included the title. That goes at the top centre of the page and it's used to show the overall focus of what the text is. But then if we were to use subtitles, that would give um, more of an indication of, of you know what each section is about, which does two things. Okay, So firstly, it um, breaks up the text and helps kind of the, uh, the reader find particular sections. So this one here, when it says Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a martial art, I've got to come up with an appropriate subtitle. I'm going to put what is... Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, and that's that's the function of of subtitles though. And you can see that it's starting to kind of break it down um, a little bit, make it a little bit clearer. If you've ever done skimming and scanning, this is a great thing to look for. Look for your subheadings. Um, okay, next, uh, let's go for I think bullet points. So. You, in the next section, we've got things like, um, so we've got the gym is open from Monday Monday to Friday, 9 to 4, Sunday 1 to 5, and uh, Sunday closed. Saturday, one to f 9 to 4, and Sunday closed. Okay, so you can see it's already quite confusing. Um, so I've got to try and think, you know, first of all, I'd give that a subtitle. That one would be, obviously, opening times. Opening times. But then I want to kind of make the poignant information I want to kind of make that poignant information stand out. Okay, so I'd go uh, Monday to Friday, 9 till 4. And as you could see, I was tripping up over my uh, words. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change them onto uh, their own their own little line there. Okay, so I've got the gym is open Monday to Friday, 9 till 4. Now, you don't want to have everything in bold. Now, it's a problem with me shortening it like this. Um, so we take away the bold, which is like heavy, heavier text to make things stand out. Um, we want to do Monday to Friday, 9 to 4, so that everything in this section isn't. Um, well actually, let's just do the time, because when we do the other ones, it doesn't actually give us much to kind of differentiate. OK, so 9 to 4, just in case people are like me and they'll get a bit confused when they're reading it, uh, 1 to 5, and then Sunday the pertinent information in, in that is closed. Okay, and because this is a list, we can put it in to um, bullet points, which is another really, really important layout technique. So you can see that it's starting to get a little bit more interesting. Okay, now this one, it's starting to talk about equipment. So a gi, uh, is it, which is a uniform with uh, a belt that they use. Okay, um, so the function of a, a um, leaflet is going to give somebody the, the correct information, but you know, both on how to actually do this and actually what it is as well. Um, so I'll put what, what you will need. Um, leaflets tend to be really, really heavy um, with layout techniques. So, you know, if they do want you to use layout techniques, it tends to be a leaflet or maybe an article, um, but you'd mostly just be using uh, headings and subheadings for that one. Okay, so a gi uniform with a belt, which you can purchase from our website. Um, so we're just going to go like that. A rash guard to wear underneath. Always remember before stop skies, even when you're doing um, bullet points. Uh, a rash guard to wear underneath. Uh, a bottle of water uh, and uh, a mouth guard. Okay, so we not we wouldn't usually write sentences like that, but it's perfectly acceptable when we're doing it um, to have our layout features. Okay, and you could argue that I've gone a bit too heavy with my bullet points, but. It depends really. There's, there's, you've got to think how you actually want to separate the um, information. Okay, and next one is you know, how to join. How to join. So, even though it's quite a small, small piece of ice, I'm just showing you that I've kind of broken it off. And if you're thinking about what your subheadings are, always kind of look for these. We call these uh, the topic sentence. So, to join, visit our website. That kind of thing will give you an indication of, of what your kind of subheading needs to be. And you'll see that it's kind of nice and broken down. I could also put introduction there. Um, but yeah, so there's a few layout techniques. But here are some of the ones we could have used. We could have used the title. We've done that. 
um, subtitle, done that quite heavily, done bold, which is that thick dark foot font used to highlight the important information. Um, we've got numbers, usually in a sequence. So if I said you wanted to join, do first do this, then do that, and do that was another great way of kind of organizing it. And then italics, so naming or trying to emphasize something. So sometimes you can actually debate with yourself. As long as you've done it for a deliberate choice, you can debate, you know, am I going to use bold or am I going to use italics? And, you know, if you're doing it on a computer, you can even do it on red and things like that. So there's another one that we haven't quite mentioned, uh, and it's actually a picture, an image, um, which is really quite good. So we've got a picture. So what is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu might be kind of an appropriate place to put in there. So I'm going to have a look at that. So there you go. Uh, that's a picture I got on uh, Unsplash. And that is somebody doing uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. There they are with the keys, and that kind of informs someone. Um, this layout technique also usually has um, a caption, but I've tried to credit it to the person who actually created it because it's a really good photo. Okay. So, sorry, I was doing several different versions. Okay, so there's all of our different kind of layout, layout techniques, um, but each have a different function, do it a different job, really. Um, so yeah, um, I can make this worksheet available as well, guys, if you want to kind of work through it, I can put it down in the description. Um, but hopefully that helps just kind of showing how these things um, would work. If you have any questions about how you'd use this in any kind of other text, um, just let me know, just put it in the comments and I'll try and help you. Okay, thanks a lot guys. Bye.